Hello, my name is Adrienne Wyke. I'm so thankful to be a part of this Me to We storytelling, specifically on resiliency. When you're planning on speaking about resiliency, more specifically, when you're planning on relating a personal story to the topic of resiliency, it's difficult to know what to share. Um, really, my life story is made up of varying chapters, and each chapter started from the beginning of my life would give insight uh, to how I've gathered the strength to now withstand anything. Um, at least that's my belief. I am a child of divorce. I have lived poor without direction. I'm a survivor of a narcissistic and abusive ex-husband of sexual assault and of imposter syndrome. I'm also a combat veteran, a mom, and a wife. I'm a student, an employee, and a boss. So where to start? with the story of resiliency in my own life. For me, I'm choosing to share the one thing I thought I wouldn't have survived, the passing of my mom. In October of 2015, my mom called with the news that changed all of our lives. She hadn't been feeling well and finally the pain in her chest was too much and she decided to drive herself, yes, you heard that correctly, she was a tough woman, to the ER. She thought it would be something simple. It was a pulmonary embolism. How she survived that is beyond me, but I like to believe it was to give us all a little more time. The x-ray was done in the ER and showed a mass in her lungs. More tests would reveal that she had lung cancer. At this point, it was stage four and had spread. It was a terminal diagnosis. Even though you know that it's terminal, a part of you wants to believe that there may still be some miracle reserved just for you. She qualified to try a chemo pill, didn't help much. She eventually tried one round of traditional chemo and it almost killed her. The next eight months were spent with various medications as well as some radiation. However, the cancer just continued to spread. My mom and I were running a business together, a commercial cleaning company based in Savannah, Georgia. I also was two months into my first master's program. When my mom got her diagnosis, she started to check out on anything that seemed serious. My poor stepdad was just trying to keep his job and get through the day to day while watching her fade away. I ended up taking over everything considering the business. And because my mom was so proud of my educational aspirations, I stayed on track with my degree program. I was living in Texas at the time as my husband was active duty military and she was in Florida. I would fly to be with her about every three weeks while my poor husband was stuck to hold down the fort at home. If all of that wasn't stressful enough, I was prepping to go back to court with my ex-husband for what would be the fourth of our court battles. I found that my military training helped during this horrible year. Everything needed to keep moving. Life, to my great dismay, couldn't just stop. I took on the mantra, funny enough, that I learned from Gone with the Wind. I can't think of that today. I will think of that tomorrow. May 5th, 2016, my mom lost her battle. To be honest, I was relieved that she could finally be at peace and that she would feel no more pain. The real work for me began after May 5th. Now I had time to let it all sink in and I was in a dark place. I was depressed and so deeply sad. I had just lost my best friend, my biggest cheerleader, and the world lost a bright light and an amazing soul. I cannot tell the story without including the darkness because it's what makes it real. It was my husband that finally said to me, you need to do something because staying like this simply won't work. I found yoga. I spent the next six months going to yoga almost every day, sometimes twice a day. It was a space that allowed me to face those feelings, release them, and feel like I left them there. I finished my master's, and I know she was there with me. Now I feel like I have this guiding light for every accomplishment or even just a good day. I feel her with me. I now know I can survive anything has made me realize that growth and opportunity can fr come from the darkest days, even if we don't realize it, even if in the moment we're consumed by it. There is a light, I, I promise. 
Um, so thank you for being a part of just a piece of my story.